Hello Grade 10! Welcome to my channel. This is Sir C.I. Balati Dolvo. And don't forget to click subscribe to my channel para po maging updated po kayo sa aking channel. Okay mga Grade 10, narito na po ang mga katanungan para sa inyong summative test for Quarter 1. Good day, grade 10. This is your summative test question for quarter 1 in science 10. Okay, let's go. This is Sir Sir Bilati Dolfo, your subject teacher in science 10. And before we proceed to our proper discussion, don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell so that you will be updated on my channel. Here we go. We are ready with your pen and your notes. Let's start with... The question number one. Here we go. So our question number one. What is the outermost layer of the earth? The choices are A. Crust B. Inner core Letter C. Mantle Letter D. Outer core And the correct answer is Crust Okay, let's proceed now to question number two. The crest and upper mantle make up earth blank. The crest and upper mantle make up earth blanks. Okay, layer A, a stenosphere. Layer B, continents. Layer C, core. Letter T, lithosphere. And the correct answer is layer D, lithosphere. Okay, proceed to question number three. And the question is, which statement about the earth crust is correct? Which statement about the earth crust is correct? Letter A. Continental and oceanic crust have the same weight. Letter B. Continental crust is heavier than oceanic crust. Letter C. Continental crust is thicker than oceanic crust. Letter D. Oceanic crust is thicker than continental crust. And the correct answer is, it's letter C. Continental crust is th thicker than okay, oceanic for crust. for question number four. What do you call the continuously moving apart of the earth crust? What do you call the continuously moving part of the earth crust? Letter A, Paul. Letter B, fissure. Letter C, fracture. Letter T, plate. And the correct answer is, of course, that is letter D, plate. Okay, for question number five. Which theory states that the entire crust is broken and is continuously moving? Which theory states that the entire crust is broken and is continuously moving? Layer A, continental drift. Layer B, plate tectonics. Layer C, seafloor spreading. Layer T, titanic theory. And the correct answer is plate tectonics. Okay, let's proceed to question number six. Which of the following is not a result of plate tectonics? Which of the following is not a result of of plate tectonics, layer A, earthquake, layer B, fault lines, layer C, landslide, layer T, mountains. And the correct answer is layer C, land la landslide. Okay, let's proceed now to question number seven. This earthquake type happens when the shifting of earth plates is driven by the sudden release of energy within some limited region of the rocks of earth. Again, for question number seven, this earthquake type happened when the shifting of earth plates is driven by the sudden release of energy with some limited region of the rocks of earth. And the choices are after shock, letter B, 
Photoshop, layer C, Tectonics, layer D, Volcanic. And the correct answer is Tectonics. Okay, for question number 8. Here we go for question number 8. How are genomes created? How are genomes created? For letter A, we have a submarine earthquake causes a huge amount of water to be displaced. Letter B, differences in temperature cause hot sea water to rise. Letter C, the gravitational pull of the moon causes the ocean water to rise. And letter D is topography underwater causes disturbances in the ocean's current. And the correct answer is letter A. Submarine earthquake caused a huge amount of water to be displaced. And number nine question. A landmass that projects well above its surrounding is the mountain. What do you call a chain of mountain? A landmass that projects well above its surrounding is mountain. What do you call a chain of mountains? Layer A, mountain area. Layer B, mountain chain. Layer C, mountain range. Layer D, mountainous. And the correct answer is letter C, that is mountain range. For question number 10, here we go. It is the location on the Earth's surface directly above the focus of an earthquake. It is the location on the Earth's surface directed above the focus of an earthquake. And the choices are center, layer B, direct center, layer C, epicenter, Layer T, epicenter. And the correct answer is layer T, that is epicenter. For question number 11. Plates float on the surface of the mantle. Which plate pushes the Philippine plate toward the Eurasian plate? Layer A, Caucasus plate. Layer B, Indo Australian plate. Layer C, Nazca plate. Layer T, Pacific Plate. And the correct answer is Layer T, Pacific Plate. Let's proceed to question number 12. If an earthquake begins while you are in building, the safest thing for you to belong is Layer A, call home. Layer B, duck near a wall. Layer C, Get under the strongest table, chair, or other pieces of furniture. Layer C. Lie flat on the floor and cover your head with your hands. And the correct answer is Layer C. Get under the strongest table, chair, or other pieces of furniture. For question number 13. Why is it important to be aware of place prone to earthquake? Why it is important to be aware of places prone to earthquake. Layer A, to identify what crop must be stored. Layer B, to identify when you to evacuate. Layer C, to locate where, they, where to stay best. Layer C, layer D, to perform necessary precautions. And the correct answer is layer T, to perform necessary precautions. For question number 14. Here we go for question number 14. Which statement does, does best describe the location of the majority of earthquake epicenter relative to the location of volcanoes around the world? Which statement does best describe the location of the majority of earthquake epicenter relative to location of volcanoes around the world? Layer A, they are far adjacent. Layer B, they are always three kilometers away from each other. Layer C, they are situated at the same location. Layer D, they are not necessarily relevant. And the correct answer is Layer C. They are situated at the same location. 
For the last question for module 1, this is question number 15. How will you relate the distribution of mountain ranges, earthquake epicenter, and volcanoes? How will you relate the distribution of mountains ranges, earthquake epicenter, and volcanoes? Letter A. Mountain ranges are found in places between where volcanoes, earthquake epicenter, are also situated. Letter B. Mountain ranges are found in places where volcanoes and earthquake epicenters are also situated. Letter C. Mountain ranges are found only in places where earthquake epicenter are situated. And the last letter D. Mountain ranges are found only in places where volcanoes are situated. And the correct answer is letter B. Mountain ranges are found in places where volcanoes or earthquake epicenter are also situated. Okay. We are done with module 1, questions 1 to 15. Hope you, uh, uh, these questions and answers guide you to the correct way in answering the summative test of for your quarter 1. Okay, so see you next uh, episode for the summative test for module 2. Do not forget to click subscribe, click the bell, and of course, just uh, make uh, share your to your friends of course that is the best diba? okay see you next episode bye bye